Okay, let's get this straight first. I'm super cheap. I'm probably the world's cheapest small business owner and I don't like to spend money unless I really believe what I purchase is valuable. So in this video, we're not gonna be talking about the top 10 most amazing online tools to grow your business. We're gonna be talking about my minimalistic approach to using paid apps when you're just starting out as an entrepreneur and have a very small budget. When I started my own social media management business about a year and a half ago, I would have much rather gone through 12 free monthly trials than to sign up to a yearly subscription of a really useful scheduling tool that would end up costing me 100 bucks. And if you're anything like me, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. You need money. I have a situation. You need money. But I think I've gotten better at it. Over the last year, I've learned how to make small but necessary investment to save time and to make my own work more efficient. So coming up, I want to walk you through the top five paid online services and one free one that I use on a daily basis. And if you like any of them, you can sign up via the link below and not only do something great for your own business, but also support me as a small struggling entrepreneur at the same time. Isn't that fantastic? So let's jump into it. This online banking tool is extremely valuable when it comes to managing payments and transactions with international clients because it allows you to transfer from one currency into another without having to pay painfully high transaction fees. Simply open up a new balance in your TransferWise account and let your clients transfer you the money in whatever currency they prefer. Once the money has come through, you can then transfer it into your own preferred currency and access it via debit MasterCard at any ITM. TransferWise is not only genius for international business transactions, but also for taking out cash while traveling. The TransferWise Master Debit Card allows you to take out up to $250 in cash every month without a fee, and after that you only pay a small fee of about 2%, which is also nothing compared to most other credit cards. But definitely do keep in mind that depending on which country you're in, the ATM might charge you for the service. Now what about secure payments? That is a very good question because if you're using an online service that provides verified by Visa or another secure payment method, then you can simply use your smartphone to confirm the transaction. The TransferWise smartphone app will send you a push notification that will then allow you to identify yourself via a fingerprint and the payment will come through in no time. So now the most important question, what does TransferWise cost? And that is the best part because it costs you absolutely nothing. It is a free service and I've been using it for the last six months and probably paid a total of maybe five euros in transaction fees and I've been traveling and using it a lot. TransferWise is awesome if you are getting paid in different currencies and it is awesome if you're just a traveler. So even if you don't run your own online business, I can totally recommend the TransferWise credit debit card for taking out cash for free in different countries. You can sign up to TransferWise via the link below this video and again, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up or to request the credit card to be shipped to your personal address. On to the next online business tool. One tool that you'll definitely not get around when running a social media management business is a scheduling tool. Now there's a couple of really good free online scheduling tools like Later, like Buffer, like Hootsuite that allow you to connect a certain amount of accounts and to post directly or indirectly to Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. I do use Buffer and I do use Later to schedule some of my clients' posts but I do use the free version because generally when I take up a new client, I can either recommend them to sign up to one of these tools or they already have a tool that they prefer. Now it might not hurt to get the pro version of either Buffer, Hootsuite or another scheduling tool that you found and that you really like if you don't want to bother your clients with buying a new tool when they've just hired you. One social media scheduling tool that I was really hesitant towards at the beginning but that I've learned to appreciate is Tailwind. And that is because there's pretty much no social media tool out there that allows you to schedule Pinterest pins more effectively. The free version comes with 100 pins for you to use and after that it's $9.99 a month which comes with unlimited pins and unlocks the tribe function. And this is where this tool gets really cool. Now I don't know how much you know about Pinterest but it's pretty much all about creating long shaped visuals that represent a piece of content that you want to drive traffic to. So if you've written a blog post about top things to do in Berlin, then you go into Canva or another design app and create a long shape visual that says top things to do in Berlin on it. And then you go into Pinterest and add a description and a title and pin this to one of your Pinterest boards. Now it would take way too long to explain Pinterest marketing to you in detail right now, but pretty much what Tailwind does is it helps you schedule your pins to your own boards and it also allows you to post to tribes. So tribes are groups of people that have similar interests to you, at least in the Pinterest world. And Tailwind allows you to post your pins into those tribe groups to then be seen by people that have similar interests to you. And that obviously multiplies the reach of your pins and the traffic to your content. Now, why do I believe this tool is worth the money? Because I've used the free version and 
and after a few months I already saw it driving traffic to my blog and to my YouTube channel. When I started using Tailwind Plus and was able to use the Tribe version, that again multiplied the reach of my pins and the traffic to my blog and my YouTube. If you have any questions about Tailwind or Pinterest marketing, definitely drop me a line below and click on the link below this video and sign up to your one monthly free trial of Pinterest Plus. I hope you like it as much as I do. The next paid online service that I use on a daily basis and that I find really valuable is NordPass. Now if you work online or you just surf a lot, you've probably been in the following situation. Chrome has once again randomly locked you out of your Facebook, Netflix or online banking account and you're desperately trying to remember which one of the 89 password user combinations you used for this one. And after you've tried and failed three times, the program is probably going to tell you that your login information has been blocked. Great. Or you manage to reset the password only to encounter the same problem two weeks later. This can be so frustrating and time consuming. So when NordPass approached me and asked me to be part of the affiliate program, I said, yes, awesome, great, sure, make my life easier. No, that's not what I said. I said that I don't promote any services that I don't believe in and that I haven't tried myself. So I've tried NordPass for about a month now and I'm absolutely loving it. In fact, I don't even notice it because it just sits in my Chrome extension and saves and encrypts my passwords for me. And if you don't use Chrome, NordPass is also available for Firefox or any other internet browser. And you can even download the desktop app or the mobile phone app and use your account on up to six different devices. NordPass saves and encrypts your credit card details, your passwords, and you can even set up shared passwords for teams or clients that you work with. So long story short, I absolutely love how easy to use NordPass is and that from now on, I can forget about forgetting my passwords. So are you ready for my special deal for you? If you sign up to NordPass via the link below right now and use the promo code Nelly, then you get 50% off your annual plan plus an additional month for free. So you get the ultimate password security app for only $249 a month. Man, I sound like a salesperson. Another great online tool that I would like you to know about, and it's mainly available for those of you who have a YouTube channel or thinking about starting a YouTube channel, and that is vidIQ. vidIQ is used as a Chrome extension and they've partnered up with YouTube, so it's essentially like a keyword tool for the YouTube search engine. Of course, there's a paid version of vidIQ, but for what I've been using it, the free version has been absolutely sufficient. So what I would do is I would type a keyword for a potential video idea, so for example, Malaga, Spain. And then if I scroll down here on the right hand side, I will see the statistics of that search term. So not only will I see how many people have searched for Malaga, Spain, I will also see the competitive score for that keyword. vidIQ has totally upped my game when it comes to finding SEO friendly titles for my YouTube videos and I can totally recommend it to you, especially if you're starting out on YouTube. As it's totally free, it doesn't matter how you sign up, you can sign up via any link, but you could use the one that I provided below this video. Okay, here's another one for creators. You probably know that music can really make or break a video. Imagine I'd used a really wild, upbeat track from the background of this video. But how do I find royalty free and good music? I have a subscription to Epidemic Sound, which is a music platform with a library of over 30,000 different tracks and new tracks are being added every single week. They love working with new upcoming creators and if you want to get a feel for the music, you can just sign up via the link below my video and get a free 30 days trial. After the 30 days, it's 13 euros a month and a little bit more for commercial use, but it's a subscription that's absolutely worth the money, has been for me for about a year and a half and I definitely will continue to use it. I simply wouldn't be able to make YouTube videos the way I do without Epidemic Sound. So get your free trial now and just get a feel for the music. Last but not least, I have a website and a website requires hosting, at least if you want to have a semi-professional website. My hosting company is based in the UK and they're called Host Presto and I pay about 60 euros for my domain and for 24 hour support. And I do use this service a lot. In fact, yesterday my website was down and within 30 minutes of contacting them that solved the problem and my website was back up and running. So absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for a reliable hosting company, then I can totally recommend Host Presto and you'll find the link to sign up below the video. As of right now, these are the only paid subscriptions that I use on a daily basis and I'm pretty happy with my selection. That being said, I'm totally open to new suggestions and if you have any apps that have totally changed your business life, then definitely drop them below and don't forget to include your affiliate link so that I can get you paid as well. 
A bit of a business and tech focused episode this week, but it has been surprisingly rainy here in Malaga, so I couldn't have been filming outside even if I wanted to. Plus, Greg is back from the US, so we're enjoying some quality time together. Again, some of the online tools I mentioned above I'm an affiliate for, some of them I've paid for out of my own pocket, but I really only recommend services and platforms that I am using myself and that I believe are really valuable for starting entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for watching and for your time, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Tschüss from Malaga, Spain.